Hey guys, what's up? Um, so a couple videos ago, I was talking about my new fuel pump. This right here. And um, mentioned a, a few things I kind of wanted to clarify for, I don't know, clarification's sake. I'm sure somebody out there is losing sleep over this. <sighs> anyway, so um, during the uh, during the video, I mentioned that, uh, you know, I, I bought some, some items from, from Revision Moto the fuel pump kit, um, my muffler on the bike. But one of the things I failed to mention and twice over forgot that I owned was what is known as a Buell tooth. And so I thought I'd show that to you for a minute. But before that, um, I wanted to discuss one of the reasons I haven't actually replaced the fuel pump yet. And it's kind of an important one. So, all right. So when I ordered my fuel pump, um, I was, talking to a friend of mine who's on the Buell XB forum and uh, um, mentioned that I was ordering this kit, etc., and that I was planning on getting the stock fuel pressure regulator, which is what I have in my hand right here. Um, and he said, wait, no, check out the uh, higher pressure one um, because it tends to improve the, um, you know, the responsiveness of the engine. And I have witnessed that um, in other uh, scenarios, not, not in motorcycles. All my bikes previous to this one have all been, you know, old school carbureted bikes. Um, so, you know, this is the first fuel injected bike I've ever had. Some of you guys are probably laughing, but uh, I don't care. Anyways, so the, uh, the idea, you know, I wasn't lost on that. I was like, yeah, you know, that's, that's probably a good, good way to go. So, you know, it was like just a little bit more money for it. So I ordered it. Uh, Revision Moto got back with me a few days later and said, hey, unfortunately, our supplier uh, doesn't have any more. We don't have any on stock, in stock, and um, you know, they're all on back order until like mid-June, right? Um, that wasn't going to work for me. Uh, I have been limiting how much I've been riding the bike, and I'll, again, you'll, you'll see in a second when I show you the Buell Tooth uh, why that would be uh, a problem for me. Um, so... Anyhow, I went ahead and ordered the uh, stock fuel pressure regulator, which is uh, 49 PSI. The, the higher pressure one is 65 PSI, I think. Um, so uh, I informed my buddy, uh, said, hey, unfortunately, you know, this is a scenario, it's on back order, yada, yada, yada. Well, <laughs> he messaged me back and he, he found one and ordered it for me. Um, so thanks, Mike, really cool of you to do that. Uh, so that's that's why I haven't replaced the fuel pump yet. Is I'm waiting on the 65 psi fuel pressure regulator to show up, uh, and then you know we'll get started on and put everything in. And what I'll do is just keep this one as a spare. Um, you know, for for whatever reason, uh, if I have to replace the fuel pr pressure regulator in the future, or if I need to replace the pump again or whatever, you know, I've got the spare part. I typically keep spare parts around, especially for something like this Buell. Um, parts are getting more and more, I don't want to say rare, scarce is probably the right word, expensive without a doubt. So anyways, um, so let's, I guess, go over the Buell tooth and uh, you will hear uh, one of the reasons I want to change out my fuel pump. All right, guys. So this is the Buell tooth. Uh, it's just a little dongle. Um, really super handy um, tool, I guess. Um, yeah, it is a tool, really. But it, it allows you to uh, connect via Bluetooth to the uh, Buell ECM and, um, you know, run trouble codes, uh, check your mapping, um, make changes to parameters on the engine, like heat thresholds, fan, uh, fan thresholds uh, when it comes on and off when key is on or key is off, etc., because this fan will run um, after you shut the engine off if it's hot um, within a certain threshold. And you can set all that, you can modify every bit of it. Uh, I'm using air quotes right now, every bit of it. Uh, and it does so through um, ECM Droid and a pretty cool application you can get on Play Store and on F Droid, which is the uh, free open source market for Android. Um, so <clears throat> this is an old Android phone I've had for a long time. Matter of fact, some of the videos that you guys have watched have been filmed on this phone. So 
All right, so let's kind of go over it. And when I turn on the bike, you have to key on, engine off to connect to the Bluetooth. You'll hear one of the reasons I wanted to um, change out the pump. Uh, and I'll explain it. Okay, so you can hear that, uh, the noise. Apparently, um, this particular model um, of Buell fuel pumps are noisy. This one intermittently will make some crunchy. I don't know how else to put it. It sounds like it's grinding up some pebbles or something. I don't know. It's, it's recent and nope, the, the pump's got to go. I do not want to get stranded. So, especially since I'm getting ready to, to ride this bike across, oh, a third of the way across America and uh, go to the tail of the dragon. So, not going to deal with that. All right, so let's kind of go over Buell Tooth really quick. All right, so let's, uh, let's get connected. So it's pretty straightforward. Again, this app is free. You can also use ECM Spy to do this, but I don't, I don't have that software. So, all right, so it's gonna connect. And uh, I found that I typically have to hold it closer to the Bluetooth. I don't know why that is the case because, um, you know, I can walk away from the bike and it still stays connected. So it's, it's only during connection. I, I don't know. I don't know if that's a bug or something. All right. Um, so obviously it gives you information on the ECM that you have, um, you know, concerning the bike. Um, and, uh, you can go to, you know, trouble codes. You can read codes. It'll fetch them. No errors here. You can clear the codes. Um, you can perform active tests. So, uh, I'll, uh, let's see. Well, I can, I can test the tack. Um, let me see if I can get tack focused in on for you so let's test the tack we'll start the test hopefully you see that if not too bad so sad <laughs> anyways so it's a uh, it's pretty straightforward um, oh you can do uh, TPS resets uh, you can read live data streams from the from the bike itself um, ECM parameters so you can change air fuel Air fuel value, uh, AVFE, I can't, gosh, I can't remember what that is now. You can set limits, uh, like the fan on and off, all that stuff is there. O2 information, you can change some parameters there. You, you have a lot of wiggle room with, with the way this is set up. And then log recording, this is, uh, this is a great tool. Be able to record logs off the bike and then go and analyze them and figure out, okay, I'm, I'm lean here or I got too much timing there. You know, cool stuff. Or you can look for problems like, hmm, there's, that shouldn't be happening there. So, so neat, neat to have. This is something I wouldn't. <laughs> you can actually edit the EEPROM. Nope, not not doing that. What I typically do is I'll I'll, I'll fetch fetch it off the bike and then burn the new um, tune onto the bike if I'm going to do it at all. And then it's got this nifty thing, torque values, etc. So. Most of it's pretty straightforward, um, the way the software works. And then, um, you know, once you start the bike and you're recording your logs, you know, you just leave it connected and maybe keep this in your pocket or in a pouch or something. But, um, you know, you can you can offload those too. Anyways, I'm kind of rambling. It, it's just neat, neat to show you guys if you own a Buell and you don't know about Buell Tooth, you, you do now, hopefully, and you'll use it. Um, I would definitely, definitely recommend purchasing the tool. All right, guys, so that's that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, hope you guys learned a couple things, I guess. Um, and uh, eventually, whenever I get the fuel pressure regulator, uh, it's apparently gonna be in the mail any day now. Um, I'll uh, maybe do a, a brief video on replacing the, the fuel pump. There are a couple other videos I mentioned two videos ago about how to replace a fuel pump or at least pull, remove the fuel pump from, from a, a, a Buell chassis, fuel tank, whatever, and, um, and get everything taken care of there. But anyways, uh, I might do something like that, or maybe I'll just show, you know, working on pulling the fuel pump apart and working on everything on the bench. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it'll just be a time-lapse video. I, I don't know. You know, why do you guys henpeck me about this crap? Jeez. Anyways, um, so 
Yeah, that's it, I think. I'm sure I'm having an old man moment right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyways, all right, guys. Until next time, peace out. Keep it between the ditches.